we are back. Another Premier League season is upon us. That means my first Premier League predictions of the season. And we are kicking it off with Manchester United versus Fulham. Friday night game, Man United v Fulham. Fulham, very good team. Ended it off with a high last season. Finished in a good place in the league. Man United, not as good as they were expecting. But we're going to be talking about all the teams in pre-season, how they've done with the transfers and everything. And we're starting off with Man United. They've only won one game out of three in their pre-season friendlies. Uh, their only win came from or against Real Betis. And the other two games, uh, they got beat to Arsenal and Liverpool. And Liverpool thumped them 3-0, which a bit embarrassing against your rivals. Um, and they've picked up an injury from their new star, Yoro, who they've bought. Um, and he's going to be out for three months, so that's a bit worrying. Fulham have only won one out of their three, so it doesn't look... Three out of... One out of two. So they're looking strong, but they could be a bit better. But for this game... It'll be a tight game, and I'm going to go for Man United 2, Fulham 1. I think Man United will just edge it. Ipswich versus Liverpool. Arne Slot's first ever Premier League game, and he always, every manager that starts fresh in the league, Premier League wants to get on with a win. Um, but Arne Slot, says, Arne Slot has done that in the pre season, he's won all three pre season games against Real Betis, Manchester United and Arsenal. Um, so it's looking good for Arne Slot and, it, and the team is looking really strong and fit for the game against Ipswich next week. So yeah, I think it, Liverpool will be up this game, but it's a half tour kickoff, and you know about me. I just got that bad feeling about us not winning. But going on to Ipswich, they've only won one out of the two pre-season games. But they've spent cash and they have spent it wisely. They've spent it on Delap from Manchester City for 15 million on a five year deal. A striker that could score goals, possibly for Ipswich. We didn't really see him much at Man City, um, but hopefully he's going to get some game time at Ipswich, I think, anyway. Um, obviously, Ipswich are wanting to play him, so yeah, that'd be, that's a brilliant signing for. Uh, Ipswich. So, for that game, I'm sorry, Ipswich, it's your first game back in the Prem. You want to win it, but so does Arne Slot, and he is going to win 1 0 against Ipswich. Arsenal versus Wolves. Arsenal left off their Premier League campaign, second in the league, and then the pre season came. They've won two out of the three. They beat Real Betis and Man United, but lost against Liverpool. Arsenal have brought in Calafiore from Bologna and he, he's, he looks really exciting and I think I've been watching him on a few clips he looks really good um, going a lot I think he's he's a centre black centre back slash right back so he can go against uh, partner up with Saliba or Gabriel um, yeah he looks like a very good player and that's what Arsenal need if they want to be winning titles uh, oh, Wolves have also won two out of their three preseason games Looking strong and possibly they could beat the Gunners on their first game on their trip to the Emirates. But it won't be enough to stop Mikel Arteta's Arsenal. Arsenal are going to thump them 3-1. Sorry Harley, Wolves fan. But. Everton versus Brighton. Everton have won one out of their three um, pre-season games. And it looks like they'll struggle this season. With I've been watching the team. They... they Possibly could go down, but the teams that have come up, they uh, look like they are. Mm, it's tough to tell, but Everton have lost, un well, they've only won one of the three, so they don't look very strong. Brighton, though, uh, they've won all three games in their pre-season, and they look like they are ready for the new season. And that they'll show that against Everton at Goodison Park, and Brighton will win. 2-1 at Goodison Park. Newcastle versus Southampton. It sounds like a derby, but it isn't a derby. It's not Newcastle versus Sunderland. It's Newcastle versus Southampton. Newcastle have won two out of the three pre-season games. 
the place looks sharp and I think it could it could um have an impact on that game against Southampton at St James's Park. Obviously a new team that's coming into the league and I think Southampton will make an upset because they've only won one, drawn one and lost one. They don't look the best for the new season, they don't look sharp, but for this game, it's your first um it's your first game in the Premier League. Not ever, but for the new season. And it is going to be Newcastle one, Southampton one. Nottingham Forest versus Bournemouth. This was probably my favourite game last season. Goals galore. It was immense. It was brilliant. I think it was three two. Solanke ma masterclass. Um Forest have only won one out of three pre seasons. It's not looking good. Um don't look at their best. They're not sharp, but they're resting the players for Bournemouth at home. Bournemouth hasn't lost one game in their three pre seasons. Oh wait, hang on a minute. Yeah, they hasn't. Mm. They've lost one game in their three actually. Sorry about that. Lost one in their three. Um and they look like they might be a threat for the new season. Obviously they did really well last season and where they finished as well. This game, Bournemouth are going to win. It's gonna be Nottingham Forest one, Bournemouth two. West Ham versus Aston Villa. This is going to be my I'm very looking forward to this game. West Ham obviously signing Fulkberg, Somerville, and their latest signing, the World Cup winner, Rodriguez. Um They've won one game out of their three pre-seasons, but they are saving their players for the big game against Villa. Villa, obviously, have only won one game, and they don't look as strong, but they've been resting their players. Obviously, they've got Champions League next season, so you never know what can what can happen in this game. It's at the London Stadium. Fulkberg, all the three signings are possibly going to play. They've got Fulkberg up top. They've got Somerville, which... I don't know about because it could possibly it could possibly turn out to be a flop, but for that game it's gonna be West Ham two, Aston Villa two. Desmond, Brentford versus Palace. Brentford have only won one game in their pre season. Uh, it, it looks like well, they're saving the players but it, it looks like they might have a tough season on their hands. Palace have actually strengthened in their team. They've got a replacement for Elise and they've brought in Saar who was at Marseille and who used to be at Watford. Um, they, they've they also, Palace have always won. They've won all three pre-season games and they look strong and they look really fit for the new season. They're going to thump Brentford at the community, community Stadium. I was about to say Community Shield there. Community Stadium, they're going to win 3-1. Man City versus Chelsea, or should we say Chelsea versus Manchester City. At... Stamford Bridge, Chelsea have only won one game in their pre-season and they're hoping to shine in their horrible home shirt. I mean, it's an absolute disgrace. Who allows them to wear that? Um, Man City have only won one game in the pre-season, but the champions have been resting. Haaland, he's obviously been injured. He's been resting all the players as Pep Guardiola and they're hoping to get off to a flyer against the Blues. Monday night game, the last game of the week, Leicester versus Tottenham. The 2014 Premier League champions hoping to spoil a good start for Tottenham. Obviously it was 10 years ago since Leicester won the Premier League. Um, massive shock. Um, Tottenham is hoping that Archie Gray who they've signed can have an impact on the first game. So possibly, but there's going to be an upset. Leicester won. Tottenham won. There you go. There are my Premier League predictions for the first week. Get your predictions down in the comments and tell me who do you think is going to win the league and who do you think is going to have the best game next weekend. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.